Assalamu alaikum myself Ahkam Ansari a student i am back again with yet another video lecture of impressive web designing in this particular video lecture our topic will be list what is list list if you ask a definition of list or if you search what is the definition of list in simple word you will find that list is a set of related information or related data for example if i you daily basis example when you visit any hotel the first thing is that when waiter comes to you and he offers something in the form of a booklet or a menu card in that booklet or that pamphlet you will get a list of item offered by that particular hotel and that list or that item are nothing but some special dishes of that particular hotel means if you want to looking for chinese so there could be items of chinese item if you are looking for a uh, indian dishes you will get some list of uh, indian indian dishes so the dishes name are arranged in a manner that manner is called as a list okay so we will find in number of the list so these list are categorized in two ways sometime you will find the list is in the form of number the first number you will find chinese dish in chinese dish you will you will find noodles you will find you will find fried rice you will find many things you will find but the the list is in the form of number okay then sometime you will find a list which don't have any number you will get some bullet type or some point wise it will written but it will not be number so list can be categorized in two ways one list can be a order list and order list means what the list which has certain numbering okay numbering and numbering can be of any form you can say numbering can be start from 1 2 3 4 there's a numerical form or sometimes you will find that the, the sequence is in the form of alphabetical like a b c d or sometimes this sequence is in the form of roman number okay so if you find a list which have certain sequence okay which have certain number so that kind of list is called as a order list where we can say this list is in the form of some certain order and how you can find it is in order or not on, on the basis of numbering 1 2 3 4 a b c or in roman number okay but the second list or the second type of list is called as a unorder where any there is no numbering okay but you will find sometimes you will find some asterisk or sometimes you will find a disc or bullet okay or some square so these are some symbol used for that list so this thing if you are to create as we know today we know the people are very very people are very what you can say they they look to go to different hotels they like to visit different hotel and normally today people people mostly search in in number of the website they search for hotels they search for dhaba on online okay so if you want to create such menu in your website so how you will create okay so the thing is that you can create this type of list you can create this type of pamphlet this type of booklet or this type of uh, prospectus like you can say so in that you can insert this uh, item in in the form of order list and in the form of an order list so html and css provide some tag and some property by using these html properties or attribute you can create this type of list or this type of menus okay so the html tag which which is used to create a list is called as as we know we have two types of list one is order list so to create order list html provide ol tag okay html provide ol tag to create order list and i have given an example of order list for example it's a programming language which is a heading called programming language inside that we have a number like if you visit any hotel you will get chinese items okay so just under the, that heading you will get n number of the items okay so here we have certain numbers 1 2 3 4 means this list is a list which is ordered list means you will see the numbering 1 2 3 4 means it is in order that's why it's called as a order list in the same way we have in right, right hand side you will get an order list why because again we have operating systems is a heading and under that operating system heading we have in number of the items 
these are called as a items okay they are windows ios android and linux these are some list items okay but when you see the left hand side these list these list are indicated by some bullets or you can say disk okay what is the difference between circle and disk both are the same the only thing is that disk is filled and circle is unfilled okay so this is a symbol this symbol is called as a disk and again if you will notice there is no sequence there is no ordering okay but in that case there is a sequence java is on first c sharp is on second c plus on third and php is on fourth okay but there is no sequence so if there is and there is no order actually sequence and order the meaning is same so this list is called as a unordered list because there is no sequence there is no ordering okay linux can be first or android can be first or second because there is no numbering but in in this case in order list there is a number if you write c sharp on top okay so the number for c sharp is second so there is could be a mismatch or misnumbering that's why it's called as a order list there is certain order so if you want to create this type of list we have or html provide a tag call ol tag and again there is a certain attribute as you know html tag have certain attribute also so ol tag have certain attribute mostly it uses three attribute the first one is a type then second is a start and third one is a reverse okay i will tell you what is it mean by a type re reverse or start but for time being just try to understand if you want to create list so we can create list of obviously we can create list but which type of list you want to create either you want to create ol that is order list or you want to create an order list so if you want to create an order list you have to use ul tag what is mean by ul that is an order list and what is mean by ol that is a order list so this is a main tag and this is a container tag okay this is the container tag why because by using only ol or by using only ul you cannot create this tag is compulsory but if you want to add items okay because a list cannot be of a single statement or single line a list means what more than one at least more than one okay so if you want to add list item so you you need or take call li so li take is used to add list items so operating system is a heading under which we have n number of the list items okay so windows ios android linux these are the list items in the same way java c sharp these are the list items okay so now i just want to conclude that we, we can create list in html so which type of list we can create we can create order list and we can also create an order list if you want to create order list we have ul ol tag and if you want to create an order list we have ul tag and li tag is used to add list items in both okay so li is common either you want to create order or you want to create an order list now i am moving towards some attributes of ol tag then i will show you some attribute of ul tag okay so the first we will moving towards the attribute of ol tag that is a ordered list now the first attribute of ol tag is a type what is mean by type actually type means which type because i am talking about ordered list means there is a certain numbering or there is a certain sequence so if you want to create an ordered list you have to use if you want to use i just want to tell you if you want to use type attribute if you want to use type attribute the default value is number like this okay the default value is number like this and it will start from 1 okay the default value of ol tag of type attribute is number something like that but it will start from 1 if you on use start attribute okay try to understand type attribute again don't worry if you are not getting i'm just try to explain you but if you not not get what i am trying to explain i will show you in coding then you will get the clear picture what i am talking about okay so don't worry just for time being try to understand type is a attribute of ol tag 
which is used to define which type of list you are going to create. List type means again it's a ordered list, but in ordered list we have certain name. Here I am using alphabet. That's the character A B C. So if you want to create A B C, so you have to mention A A, a in type. In the same way, if you want to the default is number. If you want to allow, if you want to use type, it will it will generate. Number or even if if you want to use a capital A small A so according to type value it will be your numbering okay even you can add a Roman number okay so I will show you just which type of list order list you want you have to specify in type attribute what is in the start as we know I am working in ordered or sequence list so from where you want to start your sequence. By default, it will start from one. If you want assign, it will start from one. But you can start from fifty. So, if you start from fifty, so the first character the, or the first item will be fifty. Then, according fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, upon the basis of your list items range. Okay. Right now we have four. Okay, four item. So, if, if I start from fifty, so fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. And then I am moving to a reverse. What is mean by reverse? The by default value is not reverse. The by default value is sequential. Means if you don't use reverse, it will start from one and it will move up to the number of the list item you have. But if you use reverse attribute, there is no value for reverse attribute. Okay, there is no value. Just you write. Just you need to write reverse. Then it will reverse the Sequence. For example, if you have written five, the starting value is your five, so it will reverse. Okay, it will reverse five, four, three, two, one. I will show you. Don't worry. Okay. Now I am moving towards the attribute of U L T. Okay. Attribute of U L T. That is a unordered list. UL means unordered. There is only one attribute that is called type. Why? Because it is unordered. Okay. There is no numbering. There is no starting or ending value. There is no reverse. Okay. That's why we have only one attribute that is a type. So which type of unordered list we want? So there is a disk, circle, and square. These are three attributes. And in in your syllabus, please, student, please pay attention. It is very important what I am talking about. Even just try to understand this line or this sentence. Type is an attribute, or type is the only attribute which is supported in UL tag. And type have three value: one is disk, one is circle, and one is a square. Okay. But in our syllabus, that is our updated syllabus, in According to our syllabus, these values are not supported in HTML5. Please make this note: all three values of type attribute in UL tags are not supported in HTML5. This sentence is given in your textbook. This sentence is given in your textbook. Okay. But student, I have checked. Uh, currently, I am working in HTML5. It is working. So I think you have to go with your textbook because you have to give exam according to your textbook. So this sentence is mentioned in your textbook, but it is working. Even I will show you it is working. And but if you want to use this, it means what I am trying to say. It is working in HTML5, but your textbook says it is not supported. Initially, it was working before HTML5. It was working, but even I have checked it is working right now. But if we go with book, again, if you want to use this book, these attributes, you can use by using CSS. Okay, even if you require these attribute to use this property to use in unordered list, you can use. If you go with this book, or so you can use by using CSS. So uh, the property for using disk, circle, and square for UL tag is list hyphen style hyphen type. Okay, so this is the property. This the red color I have given. This is the property. Okay, 
टू असाइन टाइप टू योर लिस्ट एंड यू हियर यू वेर आई हैव गिवन ग्रीन कलर हियर यू कैन असाइन योर वैल्यूज एंड वैल्यूज कैन बी डिस्क सर्कल और स्क्वायर ओके स्टूडेंट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट विल डू दिस वन दैट इज अल टेक देन विल मूव टूअर यू एल टेक ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट माई नोट पैड एप्लीकेशन फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट आई विल क्रिएट अ सिंपल एस टीम एल पेज देन आई विल एड ऑर्डर लिस्ट ओके सो आई एम मूविंग टूअर्ड नोट पैड दिस इज माई नोट पैड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट doc type html then i will write html the first line of html page and the last line of html page that is html and opening and closing now the first tag will be head tag on head sorry then last tag will be head tag After that, I will add body tag. One of the most important tag. Whatever you write inside opening and closing body, it will display in your browser. Okay. Now the first thing is that I am going to write H1, and inside that H1, I will write ordered list. Okay. I just want to change the background BG. Color equal to. I am going to take red. And text color is by default black. Let it be. So let me save the file. I am going to save with list. Dot html. Okay. I am currently saving on my desktop. Let me show you the output what we have just created before. In setting any list, so this is my file which I have just created. So now I have just added one H1 tag in which I have mentioned ordered list. So this is my output. Now I am going to add my list. So on list first you you will have certain heading. For example, now I am going to take H3. H3 and inside that I am going to write uh, science. Okay, this is my heading. Under science, okay, under science I have list. Okay, so I am going to use order list. So I will write OL and I will write closing OL. as i as we know ol is a container tag okay means it has n number of the other tag and that n number is nothing but our li tag so if you save this file right now you will get the h1 and h3 because we have yet not added any list item so we will not get any list item over here flip back to your browser now see this is coming from h1 and this is coming from h3 okay now under this i am going to add some list okay so to add list item just add li tag li tag is used to add list item i have added li tag okay so even you can have in same line li opening this is the li tag that the list item opening and this is the list item closing now i am going to add the subject name for example english let me save the file this is the first item in my list let me refresh now see in science under science you will get english the first thing after that i am going to just copy it control c and just paste it instead of english now i am going to change to physics okay let me see i have added another list item there is physics so you will get number 
physics in the same way we can add control v chemistry okay save it refresh now you will get chemistry and i will add one more thing last one and it is biology okay i have added biology getting it done means i have created a list that is order list where order start from 1 to 4 because we have four items so this is called as a order list you will notice that i have not given any attribute inside the oil take but it is still it is coming or it is it is in sequential and starting from 1 to 3 this is the default value number is a default value in order list so you can change this number to in roman number or even you can change in alphabet that is a capital abc or small abc if you want to change these numbering you can use attribute call type okay so if you want to change the list type i you have to use type attribute type equal to so if you write type equal to a capital a let me save now it will change to a b c d okay student because now your list type is a b c d getting in the same way if you use capital a small a like this okay let me save the file click back to your browser now when you refresh this a b c d will change to small a b c okay currently we are working on order list there is a certain sequence and order okay even you can use roman numbers like if you want to use from so you have to write a small i for a roman number you have to write a small i save it refresh it now 1 2 3 4 4 okay even if you write capital i okay refresh now it's in roman number getting it started i am currently i am using type attribute so by using type we can change our order list okay now i am going to use one more attribute that is order okay or first i will show you the reverse okay reverse i am using what is the mean about reverse it will reverse the number means initially it is starting from 1 2 3 4 so when i refresh the file it will start from 4 3 2 1 I am not sure why thing. We was to maybe okay. So now it's a four, three, two, one. Why? Because I have used reversed as a attribute of OL type. Getting it, student? Now. For example, if you don't use this one, type equal to. If you don't use type, and if you don't use reverse also. Okay, now see what is the effect. Means we are at initial state where our default value will come. That is a one, two, three, four. Okay, but you can start your sequence from any number. Okay. Currently, it's starting from one, two, three, four. But you can start from any number. Like, you want to start from fifty. You want to start from fifty or hundred. So you have to write a start equal to hundred. For example, I have written start equal to hundred. 
okay now when i replace it will start from 100 100 101 102 103 getting a student so these are the attribute and its values and its effect on our list so we have done with our order list we have seen the attribute of order list. that is a type in type we have seen this type of this either it can be number or it can be alphabet or it can be roman then we have seen start attribute by using start we can start from any number or any alphabet in the same way then we have seen reverse attribute of voltage which reverse our numbering or our sequence okay now we are moving toward our next section of the today's lecture that is a unordered list okay so the only thing is that i will not change the whole page or i will not take the whole page because already we we have completed 26 minutes of this video so i don't want to create so long video just i will just re re change instead of order i will write unorder okay then i will write instead of science i will put it okay and i will just add one more subject it so i want to add items i will write li then i will write closing li between that i will add one more subject that is the it okay and instead of ol student are you getting or not what i have just changed i have changed this content means s3 is s3 over here instead of order i have just changed an order and in science initially it was science stream now i have taken science it okay now main thing is that initially i was working with ol take this order list now i am going to use an order list. so to create an order i have to take ul take so here i have changed ul take so here we have to change closing ul take now list items are same because to create list items we have to use li in ul as well as in olt so i will not change anything over here okay now it is my simple unorder list and you will notice now you will notice let me show the output instead of numbering instead of numbering you are getting you will get bullet Now it's an unorder list and science IT. Now English IT, physics, chemistry, value. These are the list item. This item we have just added. Okay, and you will see the symbol. This is the bullet, or you can say it's a disk symbol. Okay, in your book it's given that the type attribute is not working. Not working. It's not given. It says it's not supporting actually. But uh, let me show you. It's working okay so if you use remove because these are not valid attribute okay now i'm going to use type attribute type equal to i'm going to take disk okay type equal to disk i will take type equal to disk no instead of disk because disk is also uh, already coming i'm going to use square Okay, square I have given. See, see the output student. It's working, but I don't know why the in your book is given. Maybe now you will get a square. The symbol is a square. Now if you change to circle, because we have three. circle type equal to circle so now you will get an order list called circle okay now if you change to disk that is the default okay when i save the file refresh now this will be filled okay this is called a disk getting instant it is working but in in our book it's given it's not supported let it be 
but uh, in your book it's also given if you want to apply these uh, this property like to use unordered list type attribute you can use by using css so simple how to use css in your html just we have three ways to use we have seen we, we have already learned this thing we can apply css in three ways one is inline one is internal one is external so if you want to use uh, internal you have to use style over here or you can use inline so if you want to use inline just write style as an attribute then equal to then inside double equal to you have to use a property given by the a property given by the css to make an order list in type attribute okay so what you will do first you have to write list okay i just want to show you the property given by the see this one list then hyphen style then hyphen type this is the attribute to use css okay style then type now you have given this is the property then you have to assign value by using colon then you have to assign value value is for example your square square then at the end you have to put semicolon okay so this is the css i am using okay save it now back to your currently it's in disk or bullet now when i refresh it will change to square but this time it's coming from your css not from html type attribute why because we have not used html type attribute in this line this is html tag but i have not used type attribute instead of that i have used css that is a inline css to insert inline css you have to write style as a tag then you have to mention in double quote you have to mention the property and value so list style type is a property and we have square as a value so we have three value first we have seen square then we can see the circle also when i put circle let me save the file when i refresh this symbol change to circle okay these are coming from your css not from your html even you can have the last one that is a disk okay save the file flip back to your browser it will change okay student now we have finished our today's topic i i hope you could understand what we have learned today this was a very important topic because uh, we have seen order and unordered list and you have noticed that in every website if you search any website there is a list of item or the, you will find in number of the list so i think now you got the chance to create a list in html or in css okay i just want to close this video if you have any query or any question related to this video or this topic that is a order list and on order list feel free to post your comment inshallah i will try to reply you soon thank you that's for today allah peace